Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand why the answer for this question mark is not supposed to be minus 1. So we have 4 minus 5 the whole raised to 4. When you have a subtraction, first let's just do the subtraction as it is. So when you take 4 out of 5, you're left with just 1. And we'll take the sign of the bigger number. Since this bigger number between 4 and 5 is 5 and the sign with 4, 5 is what? Minus. So here the answer will be minus 1 raised to 4. Now, whenever you have an index, that means you need to multiply that number 4 times. Here we it's raised to 4, that is why we will multiply minus 1 with itself by 4 times. So, negative into negative, okay, always gets you positive. Similarly, minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. So, positive into negative gets you minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. Now, again negative into negative, answer comes out to be positive 1. There is also a very easy way to remember that if you have a negative number, okay, any negative number raised to an even number. If it is an even number, answer will always be positive. And if you have a negative number raised to an odd value, answer will always be negative. And since 4 was an even number, that is why the answer which we got was a positive 1. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.